Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest UEFN beginner tutorial that will show you how you can quickly and easily teleport your player across your level and set up the same device and system of devices in UEFN. Now, teleporters are really useful in Fortnite Creative, Fortnite ecosystem and so they are in UEFN as well. And to get the teleporter, we're going to search for original Fortnite Creative devices under here in your content browser, under all. Simply type in teleport. And once you do, you will get the same device present in your list. As you can see, it's here. And as you can see, it's called teleporter. Customizable rift that allows players to move instantly between locations. Now we're for this tutorial going to set up several of these which basically communicate with each other and allow for the same system of teleportation. I'm going to show you how you can do that. First we're going to set up the first teleporter right here in the middle of this green patch. Then we're going to set up a second one here in the middle of this brown patch. And lastly we're going to set up the last one here in this distant grayish brown patch as well. Now we have all three of them and let's say that the first teleporter sends you to the second teleporter and the second teleporter sends you to the third one which then sends you back to the first one. So it's basically a loop. To do that, we're going to select the first teleporter and set here this teleporter group. It's the group to which this teleporter belongs to. And the target group is basically the teleporter group where the first one sends the player. So instead of sending sending it at A, we're going to set this to group B. On the second teleporter, we're going to set it up as a group B teleport, which sends to the group C. And on the third one, we're going to set it up as a teleport group C, which sends back to A. With that, we have an interconnected loop that will allow players to basically go like whoop, whoop, and go back again. Now I'm going to push in changes and try out the same thing in my level. See the same element, let's call it teleport in action and with that we should be able to see if it's all working and if it's ready to go and here we are I'm in the game I see my first teleporter my second teleporter and my third teleporter all the way there in the background so let's see if they're working first I'm going to enter my first teleporter and I exit at a light brown patch as you can see the first one is there now when I enter my second one I'm at this stony patch here's the second one there's the third one over there and when I enter the third one I'm back at the grassy field here is my player spawner where I started from and the loop is interconnected and working as it should so player one enters teleport A Exit teleport B, enters player teleport B, exit teleport C, enters teleport C and goes back to teleport A. And there you have it. It's a really simple, really easy to set up system. Demands a bit of core logic that you just learned. And with it, you can set up your teleporter and send your players or player wherever you like using the same pipeline of connections and interconnections of the teleporter device. That's all for this episode of the UEFN beginner tutorial series that I'm currently creating on my channel. There are other videos that you can check out as well. I have Fortnite creative tutorials that you can check out. So please do that. The links to my channel are on my channel, of course. And the same goes for my playlist. If you'd like, you can support me. You can check out my Patreon page. You can check out my books on Amazon. But the simplest, cheapest and easiest way to support me is to be here for my new videos. And hopefully you found those useful and hopefully you found this one useful as well. 
that's all for me. My name is Ivica. Thank you so much for watching and have loads of fun in your UEFN projects. Until my next video, bye bye.